Live from Town Square Towers at the heart of the Jersey Shore, wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Get up, get out, do something. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. 708 Tuesday, September 6, 73 degrees. Getting up to 81 today. WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. News Talk Radio streaming live on the Radio Pop app and WOBMAM.com. 732-505-1160. Join the conversation. We are now joined in studio by Pat Bowes. She is the executive director of SCAN. Good morning. How are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? Oh, I'm fabulous, too. Uh, so first, I have to ask. I always have to ask because you don't, you live in uh, Monmouth County? Yes. All right. So are you usually like a 5 o'clock wake-up person or not so much? Really? Yeah. You get up at 4.30? I do. By choice? I do. It's my creative time, so I can write then. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, so what time do you go to sleep typically? About 11.30. So you need like five hours and you're good? Yeah. I could oh. use an afternoon nap, but I'm good. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. Totally jealous. All right. Well, then, listen, thanks for coming in during your creative time. <laughs> uh, so why don't you tell folks a little about SCAN, uh, Social Community Activities Network. What's it all about? So SCAN has been around for 28 years. Uh, it has been providing social education information and referral to people who we call seasoned adults, 50 and over. And we um, are presently located in the Mammoth Mall, um, which is in Eatontown, New Jersey. And we have, um, we provide three semesters per um, year, and 13 week semesters, and we provide a variety of different types of classes, art classes, exercise, tai chi, yoga. Um, we also have language classes. We have Italian and Spanish. We have TV production class, which I'll talk hopefully a little more about later, and then um, Again, a variety of behind the scenes opportunities for people to go to places that they would not normally be invited to. Cool, and and what kind of pricing is on these classes? So some of them are free. One of our major sponsors is Mammoth Medical Center. So all of our health education classes are free. Um, the others range from $2 per class to maybe $8, depending wow. on what it is. Wow, $2 per, that's $2 per session, right? Yes. Wow, that's still, uh, that's that's ridiculous. Well, we want to make it affordable so people stay healthy mentally, physically, and emotionally. Oh, okay. All right. So how did you get involved with SCAN? I mean, when you were like, when you were a little girl, were you like, gosh, I just hope that one day I could I could teach uh, seasoned adults, uh, uh, you know, uh, higher education? So when I was a young girl, I wanted to save the world. And now I just use, wanted to save one agency at a time. Okay. <laughs> um, so I was in, the, I've been in the aging business for 40 years. I, Aren't we all? <laughs> yes. I like it versus the alternative. Right. I got um, you. And then, um, so I used to run senior centers in Jersey City and New York City and Greenwich Village. Um, in 1990, kind of got burnt out from direct service and started my own consulting business, Bose and Associates. And I specialize in working with not-for-profits and government agencies. So fast forward to about four years ago, we started to adopt not-for-profits and do extreme, makers, extreme makeovers on them. And SCAN was one of them. And so SCAN was at a place that it needed um, some attention. And um, at that point in time, the executive director left for medical reasons and the board asked me to stay and help out. Right. So I did, and I didn't plan to stay for four years, um, but I kept saying, you're at the mall. <laughs> and I just love the concept because it's very non-traditional. It's not a senior center. Se um, the, the members come, take their classes, which have become their own community. So we're really made up of a lot of small communities because they take care of each other. Right. And then they socialize and, um, and have a really good time. I, we know that to stay healthy, you have to stay connected. And that's what SCAN does. So I have been there for the last uh, four years and we keep growing. And as a result of that, we have now four divisions of SCAN. So we have the hub, which is the mall, and we have a satellite that just opened up last year in Freehold Borough. We're hoping to come to Ocean County in the near future. Um, we have what's called Scan on Wheels, and that's an outcome of a pilot project that we were one of seven nationwide to do tablets um, with, with seniors in this particular case, limited income seniors. And we worked in this with this population in Freehold Borough and as a result of that, after being with them for a whole year, 
them becoming incredibly proficient in using tablets with Skype, email, and Facebook. Um, we were asked to stay there um, to help r- bring other services in, and we did. Uh, it's been difficult in regards to it n- was not originally in the plan, but it made perfectly clear that SCAN should be going into communities versus communities coming to us. Right. And so that's how SCAN on Wheels was created. Cool. So so the, the, the deal here, though, how, so each class is how long, how many sessions typically? So usually it's 13 weeks per okay. semester, and the class is about an hour and a half. Okay. And can somebody take multiple classes? Oh, absolutely. Okay. So do you see, like, do you see people that are kind of just going through the whole, uh, kind of going through the whole uh, checklist of classes and kind of knocking them all down one by one? No. Usually they have their specific one that they're interested in. Oh, and, they, and then they're done. Okay, because yes. I, mean, I see you have like, you know, you have like a yoga class and then you have a chair yoga class and then you have a meditation class. I mean, there there's obviously classes in different genres and I would imagine someone would kind of go through maybe, you know, maybe a number of classes in a specific in a specific discipline. So we have people who take yoga who take meditation, but if they take yoga, they don't take chair yoga. Well, they, you know, maybe a couple years later, they take chair yeah, yoga. Absolutely. <laughs> as they're, you know, in the business of aging. Yes, right. as we age it gracefully. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, and so, uh, so the the goal here though isn't necessary. I mean, some of it is some of it is absolutely kind of skill and life skill based mm-hmm. because you have classes like you know how to use a, how to use a tablet, things like that, things that some of us take for granted as just you know this is the way we we roll. Um, but for any of us that have worked with uh, a parent or a grandparent. And tried to teach them how to use that. We're really glad that Scan is around, right? Absolutely, you, you <laughs> love that we're around, right? Because right. they get it, and you don't get beat up, <laughs> right? So, so this is really kind of helping. Uh, it's it's helping seniors kind of um, stay relevant in today's society, stay up to date. Um, and how often are your classes changing? So again, we have some course classes that we always have every semester because of demand. Right. And then we usually introduce at least three or four new topics. Like last semester, we had a lot of stuff on history, and we did have a class on the upcoming presidential election. Oh, boy. Which was interesting. What was that class? What what, 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 what do you mean? It was like you were going through uh, policy? And, uh, I think they were going through histories of elections oh, okay. and, um, and then came to the most recent and I'm sure that the class ended before they could really get right. into a heated there discussion. There might have been some opinions involved in <laughs> just, that particular just class. Just a few. Gotcha. Okay. When we come back, uh, I want to talk about two things in particular. Number one, I want to talk specifically about um, partnerships that you have built up. Um, but I'd also like to talk about some of the classes that you're kind of most uh, most proud of or most excited about. For example, you mentioned the TV production class. So that would be cool to talk about when we get back. Can we do that? Sure. Cool. Pat Bowes, Executive Director, Scan, back after this. Stay tuned for Preferred Company with Joel Markell and Marianne Levy at 8. Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin continues next. News Talk Radio, WOBM, AM 1160 and 1310. Hey, welcome back. Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin here with Pat Bowes talking about Scan. Uh, so, okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, partner agencies. So who do you guys work with for the most part? I mean, there's a lot of natural kind of partnerships that seem to be uh, that seem to go along with the work you do. So so who do you spend a lot of time with? So we're not a social service agency, so it really is important that we collaborate with a variety of different people. So some of our partners is the Food Bank of Monmouth and Ocean County. Uh, we work with them and they provide um, screening as far as SNAP and other entitlement and benefit counseling. So we do bring them on the road with us. Monmouth Medical Center has been a major sponsor of SCAN for the 28 years that we're in existence. And they provide us with health education classes and health coaches um, to deliver some of those education opportunities. We're also doing a matter of balance workshop, an eight week workshop with them. Um, Monmouth University is on our board, but also we're working hopefully this year with um, some interns in regards to providing one-on-one assistance to seasoned adults with uh, technology by appointment. So we're excited about that opportunity. Brookdale's also on our board of directors. Uh, Family and Children's Services provide us SHIP counselors, which is state health insurance program counselors. I do happen to be one of them. Um, So it, it is an opportunity to find out what's going on in Medicare and open enrollment is happening um, starting, I believe, October 15th. 
to December 7th, so people should be looking at their plans to see if they want to change. We do work with caregivers of Central Jersey. Um, I worked really closely with um, Lynette in regards to trying to get her into Monmouth County, so we're so excited that she's there. Right. Um, YMCA of Weston Monmouth has housed us now in the new facility in Freehold Borough for the last year and a half, or two years, I want to say. They've been incredibly gracious, and we are serving seniors in Freehold Borough that didn't have services in the past. Affordable Housing Alliance is funding us for our technology project um, because if we can keep people in their home and connect it, um, it is cost effective, but also better for them. We work with the two offices on aging, both Monmouth and Ocean County offices on aging in regards to providing up-to-date information to all of the, to the members. We also, um, are in the Boscoff department stores. Yeah. Um, twice a year, we do um, educational classes that are housed in their locations. And that's wonderful because we average in Monmouth County about 800 people who come to our classes in a four week period. And in Ocean, um, because they don't have an actual room, it's 25 people per class and they're busting at the seams. So we're really looking for a permanent place to do a lot more stuff in Ocean County. Very cool. And to that end, you also have a Lunch and Learn uh, set up for Ocean County, right? We're hoping in 2017 we had our first brain health fair here at St. Andrews, um, I believe, in June. And we had 100 people show up in the worst weather in the, in the world. And so that's a win-win. And as a result of that, people wanted us to come back and do some Lunch and Learns. So we're negotiating some time and space there. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, tell me a little bit about the uh, SAT program. Successful Aging and Technology Yeah, because I heard SATs, and I was like, <laughs> wait, you said that you're for seasoned adults, so why are they taking SATs? Well, well, there's no test involved in this at all. We just are looking for um, communities that are in need or underserved, and we are bringing all of our classes to them, both our technology classes and our healthy aging classes. We're probably, this will be our fourth location. We've been in Freehold, Long Branch, we're in Neptune right now, and we're hoping to go to Red Bank and uh, Kingsburg in the future. And we're also hoping to bring this to Ocean County. But here, um, our agenda covers three hours, uh, an hour and a half on technology, your favorite, yes. not mine, but yours. Um, and um, they learned Skype, um, Facebook, they have email accounts. We show them how to use the apps so that they can stay connected. But Skype seems to be the biggest yeah, um, I'm sure. attraction to them. And then as far as healthy aging, besides you know medication management, we also talk about financial literacy because in many cases, um, depending on their cir circumstances, some people don't have a lot of background in taking care of their finances. We also do five wishes, which can be recognized as... Um, advanced planning document. And again, it makes people start thinking about things um, as far as having their house in order and they develop relationships. Cool. Well, five wishes is four more wishes than we give you uh, here. We give you your magic wand and your pixie dust and your fairy dust and, uh -huh. let, and see if you can make an impact on the world. I, and we're going to do that after the break. I will say that uh, when I was a general manager for CompUSA, we used to go into senior communities to their to their clubhouses and do trainings on basic computers and things like that. There was nothing more rewarding than going in and teaching uh, teaching seniors how to uh, how to kind of keep up with technology uh, and really how to relate with their kids and their grandkids, which is really what it was all about to a Absolutely. large extent. So uh, we'll talk more about that. We will give uh, Pat Bose her magic wand and so much more. Pat Bose, Executive Director, Scan. Uh, talking about, you know, community training for our seasoned adults. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Back after this. The news never stops at WOBMAM.com. Get the latest from WOBM News, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Gronin, News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 at 1310. Live from the Jersey Shore to the world, get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Gronin. Take the show wherever you go. 
Download the free Radio Pup app for your smartphone or tablet. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, 735, Tuesday, September 6, 73 degrees, getting up to 81 today and rainy this afternoon. WOBMAM 1160 and 1310 News Talk Radio, streaming live on the Radio Pup app and WOBMAM.com, 732-505-1160 to join the conversation. We are joined in studio by Pat Bose. She is the executive director of SCAN. So, Pat, we are talking about what the upcoming events are because there's always things happening. And as we always say, no money, no mission. So what do we have uh, coming up uh, for SCAN? So on fr- this Friday, we will be hosting United Healthcare, and we're encouraging anyone who, ha- who has that courage to come to the meeting and find out about their benefits. And the executive director of all of New Jersey will be there to meet them. Cool. And then we're also having an open house that afternoon to highlight all of the winners of the Monmouth County Senior Art Show. So we'll be serving wine and cheese. So Ooh, we're hoping, wine and cheese. We, we're hoping that people will show up at the mall. Um, um, 1030 to one to one and then one to three the next is that we're doing our annual luncheon which is held at seabrook and we'll be honoring um cynthia joy from the ymca and also donna blaze from affordable housing authority so because they've been so instrumental in helping scan be successful with scan on wheels this year and then we will be having our third annual brain health fair december 2nd at the monmouth mall and that is a great time had by all. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, so, and this is the Mammoth Mall. This is the lower level of the Mammoth Mall. Yes. Um, I was just in the Mammoth Mall uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, kind of a, you know, we kind of having a revitalization there. How do you feel? I shouldn't ask you this. I was going to ask how you feel about the whole big redevelopment process uh, uh, project. Um, it is what it is. Exactly. I mean, so uh, whatever is the end result, I'm sure that we. Uh, will be involved at some point in time with either one of our partners or directly. Right. And um, But it also gives us an opportunity to start thinking strategically in regards to scan without wheels and being much more virtual so that we can go Absolutely. to our customer versus, again, expecting them to come to us. So, right. so it's a positive challenge. Right. But the residual effect for you, unfortunately, would be prob- – and this is very far in the future at this point because now they're not even talking at this moment – but the unfortunate thing for you would be, I imagine they would reimagine the mall, would turn into some high end, like freehold type mall, and, you know, not necessarily thinking in how many nonprofits they're going to have in a, in a mall like that. Although freehold still has the uh, Meridian um, United Way. Yes. So, uh, so we, we should, we'll see. We'll see. All right, cool. Listen, we digress. Um, it's time now to give you Pat Bowes, Executive Director, Scan, your magic wand, your pixie dust, your fairy dust, your ability just to wiggle your nose and make an impact on the world or on your sector. Pat, what are you doing with that power? So I do think uh, information is power. Um, and so therefore, I really wish that people understood um, their um, what's available to them in regards to whether it's benefits or entitlements, but also the planning for the future, whatever that might be. I just think that so often no one takes time to do that until someone either takes away the keys or something happens in regards to health-wise. So um, being proactive is my wish for everyone to absolutely have their own personal plan. Definitely. And your wish would also be that we need to find a uh, we need to find someone for the uh, TV production class, right? Absolutely. Our, our longtime director of TV production recently um, resigned for personal reasons, um, and we're looking for someone who can help us teach TV and radio production because we'd like to expand to radio in the future and have our own radio show to talk about senior issues. Um, and also, we um, we produce three TV shows per month that are seen on Comcast, Cablevision, and FiOS. And one is called Welcome to Scan, which is senior issues. One is Community Connection, where we highlight not-for-profits in Monmouth and Ocean County. And the other is called Career Con- Connect, where we highlight businesses and what careers are within those businesses. So we want to keep that going. So we're looking for um, a fabulous new director of our TV production. Very cool. Zach, you hear that? You can do producing. You, no? Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, Pat, give me the website, Facebook. What do you got going on? So the telephone number is 732-542-1326. The website is www.scannj.com. And then you can find us on Facebook. Right. Social Community Activities Network on Facebook. And uh, you'll see a picture of the team there. I just became the 114th like of Scan. I'm just letting you know. Thank up you. to 114 and counting. Uh, listen, very cool. Uh, great stuff that you guys are doing uh, with uh, with SCAN. It's a really great partner organization. As you heard, I think you took about eight minutes to go through all the partner uh, organizations that you're working with. And that's really kind of part of the overall solution. And we, we know uh, that we have upwards of 250,000 seniors in the Monmouth Ocean County uh, region. So there is certainly a need for services. This is a great one at a very reasonable price for uh, folks with a on a fixed income. So uh, great job and, uh, and, and looking forward to seeing you guys more involved in Ocean County as we go forward. Great. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin back with more after this.